Okay then my friends, so in this video I'd like to talk about two what's known as magic methods in PHP. Now we've already actually seen a magic method so far in this series and that is this construct function right here. Now you can tell something's a magic method because it has two underscores in front of the name. So the two other magic methods I want to talk about in this video are going to be the destruct method which is kind of the opposite of the construct method right here and also the clone method. So what I'm going to do is first of all define a function for the destruct magic method. So let's say public function and underscore underscore destruct. Now this destruct magic method this is used to perform any kind of cleanup or run any final code whenever the last reference to an object instance is removed. So say I was to create a new instance of this user, then assign that to a variable. That variable is just a reference or a pointer, if you like, to that actual instance we've created. And when that reference variable is removed, if there's no other reference variable pointing to that instance, then PHP will run this destruct method of that instance and then get rid of it. So we've created this destruct method right here and inside all we're going to do is just echo something out. So we'll just say echo and then we'll say the user and then whatever this instance username was, was removed. Okay, so now we have that method set up, but at the minute it's not going to do anything. We have to figure out how we can remove the reference to a variable. So how do we do that? Well, there's two ways really. First of all, we can use the onset function. So say for example, we've got a reference to this instance in user one. I could unset that by saying unset and then pass in the reference, which is user one. And that is going to basically remove that reference to the instance of the user. And because that was the only reference to that instance, we don't have this user stored in another variable elsewhere, only different users. Then because that was the last one, it's then going to run this destruct method right here, echo this to the screen, and then totally remove the instance itself. So let me now save this and preview because we should see this echoed on the screen, but what you see actually might surprise you. So let me refresh and we can see the user Mario was removed, but also the user Yoshi was removed and also the user Luigi was removed. Now, first of all, let me just add on a BR tag here so they all go on a separate line and refresh. But this is expected because we actually unset this reference right here. So that was the first one and we expect the destruct method to run, but it's also running for these two things right here. So why is that? Well, when a PHP file finishes executing, when it gets to the end of the code, automatically these references to these instances are removed because we don't need them anymore. And therefore, since they're removed and that was the last reference to them, this runs as well. So we don't actually need to manually unset that right here because we get to the end of the file and automatically these are going to be removed anyway, these instance references. So if we save this, it's going to have no effect. So we can see right here, this all still works. So that's the first magic method I wanted to show you. The next one is called the clone method. The clone method is gonna run when an object instance is cloned and we can use it to perform a bit of object setup if needed on that new cloned instance. So we could clone an instance of an object that we already have by saying something like clone and then whatever instance we want to clone. So for example, user one okay and that is going to grab this object and it's going to clone it now where's it going to store that well in a new variable so user four is equal to clone user one so we get an identical copy of this object now stored inside user four as well now when this event happens when something is cloned like this we can tap into the clone magic method on the instance which is newly created using that clone. So let me now go up here and I'm going to just, in fact, no, I won't comment that out. I'll keep it and I'll create a new one, public function underscore underscore because this is a magic method clone. So this clone function runs for the instance which has basically just been created using clone. So it would run for this instance right here. So we could use it to perform some kind of setup 
when we first create this object because by default we're going to get all the same properties as user one because that's what we're cloning so for example inside here i could say something like well i tell you what grab the email which is currently going to be the same as user one so this email and set that equal to something else i'm going to set it equal to this email and then just concatenate a little string which is going to say cloned like that i'm also going to do a br tag right here just so if we echo out anything after this later on, then it's going to go to the next line. But anyway, the point here is that we're taking the current email property, which is going to be the same as user one, which is this over here, because that's what we're cloning. It's going to take that property and it's going to add this bit of string to the end of it, because when something's cloned, this runs on the new instance, the thing that we get back from that clone. So if I save this and run it, now we should see First of all, this was removed because now we have two of those instances and those two are still removed, but we don't see anything else because we've not actually echoed out anything else. What I'm going to do now is, in fact, I'm not going to change this to email because that's a private property. I'm going to say username and this should be username as well. So we take the current username and add cloned to the end of it. Now we can access that username outside here. So I'll say echo and then it's going to be user four and we want the username property. So the reason I changed it to username was because this thing over here, email was protected and I just wanted to quickly print out something to the screen. So we went for the username instead. So anyway, now if I save this, we should see Mario, but with cloned next to it. So let me refresh and now we can see Mario cloned and also the user Mario cloned was removed. So this is all working now. So there's two magic methods for you. We have this destruct magic method, and also we have this clone magic method. Now there are also a load of other magic methods available to us in PHP, and you can find them on this page right here. So if you wanna read more about one of these, you can click on these, and it is gonna give you a detailed explanation and a lot of different examples as well on how to use those things. So what I'll do is leave this link down below and you can check this out in your own time. But now hopefully you understand what these two methods do.